Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ultimate team of the season is leaked. As expected, we have the full team and it's not just 15 players, it's even more. I'm sure some of you guys have seen the leaks, but I want to take a look at the full squad that is leaked. Talk about it and especially talk about the market. Talk about how prices are moving upwards on some cards and downwards on others, especially the cards that are in the team like this Ben Yedder. And also take a look at the rewards. That's going to change a little bit of the hype for this weekend, I think, with these cards because there's some question marks there. And also we have to talk about where in the world is the Serie A team of the season guaranteed pack because EA did not release it yesterday. After releasing every other guaranteed TOTS pack on Wednesday for the main league for the last five weeks, they go out yesterday on Wednesday and they don't release it. So we'll talk about that potentially coming today. Also the rest of our Thursday content and just what to expect in general on FIFA today. So if you're excited for Ultimate TOTS, especially after these leaks, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look at this team. Ultimate team of the season in FIFA 22 is looking a lot more ultimate than the last couple of years because instead of 15 players like we expected, EA did the juice. They're giving us 23 cards in packs, and this is a really star-studded squad. I think the player selection here is like 8.5 or 9 out of 10. Yes, there are some cards that are left out in here, of course, but if you're going to you know, put out 23 cards in packs, still leave a couple of, if you think from EA's standpoint, right, they have to put a couple cards in there that are a bit lower rated, that are easier to pack, just for pack filler, basically, right? That's why Mike Nan is in there, Trent Alexander-Arnold, those are like the worst cards in this team, but th that's that's insane saying that, right? Look at this squad, you've got guys like Benzema, Salah, Mbappe, even like the middle tier of the squad, cards like from 500k to a million coins, you've got Koulibaly in there, you've got Cancelo, you've got Van Dijk, Marquinhos, Chalmany, those are all really, really good cards, Kimmich is in there as well, De Bruyne, this team is incredible, GG's to EA Sports, now I know some of you guys are disappointed because there's like no Messi, no Neymar, no Pedri, no Militao, but I think with the player selection that they have done here, this is really, really good, and I'm just ecstatic that they have more than 15 players in packs. That's the biggest W from this. So, the, we're starting off Ultimate Tots with a W, right? The players in packs are, like, it's a star-studded list, and I'm a fan of it. Now, of course, as we expected, we've been talking about, we knew these cards were going to start dropping when the leaks came out, and that is exactly what has happened. Any of these cards right here in the leaked team of the season for Ultimate Tots uh, that you watched prices of yesterday, you probably saw some fluctuation. Ben Yedder was down at 1.8 mil. He's back up to 2 mil, but let me tell you, he is not done dropping just yet. There are periods and cycles of panic selling that happen all of the time on these cards. Last night, Mohamed Salah was 1.6 million coins. Uh, even earlier yesterday, he was 1.6 mil. He has now bounced back to 174. And Kunku was 1.1 million coins. He went all the way back up to almost 1.2. And just a little bit ago, I checked this card. He's back down under 1.1. So you're going to have all of these cards that are going to be in ultimate tots. There's been some panic selling, and mostly their prices have dropped off. Yes, there have been a few fluctuations up, right? But Paqueta was 1.5. Now he is 1.39, 1.4. He was in the 1.2s. I actually bought one of them and flipped them. So in general, for most of these cards, if you guys are worried about buying them for your team, like Nate, should I sell? For most of these cards, they're probably still going to drop lower because I think tomorrow we're going to have a decent amount of supply. Now, it's not going to impact everybody in this team because still, like we mentioned, it's going to be hard to pack Benzema. It's going to be really hard still to pack Mbappe and Ronaldo and Vinny Jr. But there is going to be a decent amount of pack supply, especially on the guys like Koulibaly especially on Chalmany, Van Dyke, Marquinhos, you know, those kind of lower tier, maybe some of your cards that are 500K, 600K or less in this team. Those are the ones that you're going to see the biggest price drops on. And some of your other cards in here too, like I think Rafael Leao is going to take a big hit in price. I think Nkunku still has some more to drop. You know, some of these cards that have maintained kind of expensive prices that are probably a little overpriced, are probably going to drop this weekend with some more supply. So the general rule of thumb is we're going to wait till tomorrow to watch these cards. And yes, there could be some bounce backs, but I think all of these cards are going to drop lower at some point 
this weekend. That's the bottom line. Now for the other side of the coin, cards that didn't get in, like we mentioned, especially Neymar, two years in a row being left out and not included in the Ultimate Tot Squad. On the announcement of that team yesterday, Neymar went from 5.8 million coins instantly up to 6.1 where he is now i think you had messi go up like a hundred thousand coins he went from like 1.7 i think he's like 1.8 something right now he didn't have as big of a bounce back but still he's up in price uh pedri not being in the team his card jumped a hundred thousand coins from like 1.2 up to 1.3 i don't know where he's at right now 1.3 so there's that also people were hoping for Eder Militao uh to be a part of the squad as well and he is not in so Militao's price he's back up to 600k he was like 560 so that was kind of what was expected right now will these cards continue to rise after this since they're not in the team maybe a little bit this weekend but also the next thing that we have to talk about is the rewards and that's a big part about ultimate team this season because ea updated the rewards yesterday and there are some questions about this um i qualified for champs that's a w um and i want to talk to you guys about these rewards because now we have them in here and they're official right you see the player picks in here before the description was not added this is this is the part of ultimate team this season that does not look so good this is an l for a lot of people because these player picks are not specific and the packs that you get are not specific for ultimate tots cards they are e figs rewards as you can see if you get rank five which was where a lot of us try to get right you get two player picks one of three 91 plus e figs tots players now what is an e figs tots player well when we look back at the code and i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up uh, the pack code that was released and we looked at it on one of the videos earlier this week um, When we looked at this code What you see is and this is actually some new modified code here from the past couple of hours the, These are the rewards right here 91 plus efigs tots three players pack Contains three team of the season players from the Premier League League one Syria Bundesliga or La Liga rated 91 or higher this is not any this is not players just from ultimate team of the season that's where the disappointment is these are not ultimate tots specific player picks and ultimate tots specific tradable tots packs these are just players that are from these squads so what that means is you could get 11 12 13 like you could be getting rank one rank one gives you the one of five 91 plus efigs tots player pick right these cards right here could give you any 91 plus rated tots card from any of the england france italian germany or spain team of the seasons right the top five leagues that we've had this these past weeks that's what's available from these same thing with the with the players packs right you could get like in your player pick let's say you get rank five this weekend right rank five you could get like declan rice Frimpong, and schlotterbeck as your three choices for an, a 91 plus efigs tots player pick that's where the disappointment is because the ultimate tots players that are in this leaked team are not the players that we're playing for this weekend you're basically playing for any team of the season card from any of the top five leagues that is 91 plus now that is kind of i guess um it's really not i'm trying to make an excuse to find that it's a w it's, it's really not that big of a w because every single time thus far we've been playing for the tots team that is in packs and now for weekend league this weekend we're just playing for all of the major league tot squads 91 rated or above so the potential for bad packs this week from rewards is there we don't know what the pack weight's going to be like but this is putting a lot of people off and this is probably the biggest disappointment uh, of ultimate tot so far is the rewards here so be be with it what you will um i still think i'm going to try to play this weekend because these these rewards still should be pretty decent um, and you still want to get packs and you know get cards and have a chance of packing an ultimate tots player right but that does put a damper on some of the hype uh, for ultimate team of the season since those players are not going to be in the rewards but all in all if the content is good we're starting off with a great ultimate team of the season if we have good sbcs we haven't had any flashback leaks we haven't had anything in that regard um, about what our sbc might be tomorrow we're kind of waiting for that still and we're kind of looking into that yet hopefully today on thursday we'll get some more information about that um, but 
that's kind of the biggest L with that stuff for, for Ultimate Tots. But I think a W overall, the rewards are an L. Now let's talk about what happened yesterday and kind of roll into the Serie A Tots guaranteed. Like what in the world is going on with that. By the way, before we get into that, what are your thoughts on Ultimate Tots? Put them down in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Are you sad about Pedri, Neymar, and uh, Messi? What do you guys think? What do you think about rewards? I want to know in the comments. Seriously, I want to hear you guys' opinions, so feel free to drop them down below. Now, also yesterday, the biggest question was about content. Where in the world are Serie A Tots guaranteed? For the past five weeks, they dropped the big league guaranteed Tots on Wednesday. We didn't get it yesterday. People are wondering, what in the world are they doing? Well, maybe they're waiting until the season resets because today, as you're watching this video, there's a new season. Season 7 is starting. Um, your season progress is going to be reset. Everything and objectives is going to be going away. Um, wow, I'm not going to hit level 27. That's a bit of a rip, but it is what it is. Um, you know, all of that stuff is being reset today. So we'll talk about that in a second. But why in the world did EA not release the Serie A Tots guaranteed? It was really a head scratcher because yesterday's content was really, really an L besides it, right? We had the 80 plus times 10 upgrade pack that was repeatable. We had a token pack. Um, and then we had the the SBC for, what was his name? Caprari. We had the Caprari SBC back in the game. Cheap, keep cheap card. Not that great. I'm hoping that the Serie A Tots guaranteed drops today. Um, that's kind of our last ditch effort. Uh, and just kind of, again, shaking our heads like EA Sports, what are you doing? Why did you not release that pack yesterday when you normally did, but save it for today? And I guess the only reason that we can think of is that today is the season milestone, like the, the season reset. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, um, but that's that. And I think it's just like either EA forgot to put it out or they wanted to wait until today to do that. So Hopefully it's today because they've done it for the last five weeks. So if they didn't give us a guaranteed pack, there's a Serie A Tots player pack, like a guaranteed Tots SBC in the code. It's there. It just has not been dropped yet. So hopefully it's today. Hopefully it's cheap. Uh, again, that would be our ultimate last time to sell fodder. I still have a little bit of fodder on my transfer list. Not really that much. Uh, you can see some like 85s, 86s that I have here at the back. Just a little bit of my club stock still remaining. Um, hopefully we can sell that today with the guaranteed tots coming out. And then maybe you'd see some of your Syria cards pick up a little bit in price, but I don't think their prices are going to move that much just because again, a lot of the hype right now is transitioning into ultimate team of the season. Let's talk a little bit more today about Thursday content. What to expect today? Of course, transitioning off of that ultimate or Syria tots guaranteed, we should see the Syria tots guaranteed today. Hopefully, right? If we don't get that, that would be a real head scratcher like EA. What are you doing? So we're hoping that that comes today. Also, we have one last player SBC to grace Syria team of the season. And it, it actually is kind of a W. The only thing I'm not a fan about is now we've had three attackers via SBC dropped. Osaman, which is probably going to be today, right? This is going to be a Tots moments Osaman. These are stats predicted, by the way. These are not confirmed stats. Um, it's for his two goals against Ellis Verona FC. Um, this could be a really nice card, but we have had Delofeo already. We had Caprari yesterday, and now Osaman is going to be today. Three attackers. Uh, I guess they thought we needed more attackers in the Serie A. So this card might be kind of cool if they give him a proper juice, uh, depending on what the stats are, what the price is today. Especially if you're a Napoli fan, maybe getting getting him in your team is something that you uh, really would like to do. I think that's going to be part of our content today. Also, we have the 84 plus player pick that was released on uh, Tuesday. Where is it at? 84 plus player pick. That's going to be repeatable again today, and uh, we're kind of a one last, you know, very specific chance from an upgrade gamble pack at a Serie A team of the season. These had a way better pack weight than the 80 plus times 10. So if you're going to gamble with an 84 rated squad to turn into something today, this is probably going to be your gamble SBC of choice because that one should be there. And I think it should be, you know, what is it? 48,000 coins, pretty cheap to do. So you should have a little bit of demand once again for today on your low to mid tier SBC market. Your 83s are still low, 84 is still low, 85s, 86 is all still low. I think people are starting to worry that that ultimate tots guaranteed, sorry, Serie A tots guaranteed is not coming. And uh, that's maybe why you're seeing some of the 84s, 85s, and 86s just slide down in price a bit because especially after today on Thursday, these prices are going to drop off later into the nighttime as people get prepared for a lot of packs to be opened tomorrow 
on Friday. So that's kind of our Thursday content, 84 plus player pick, the Oshman, and hopefully the Serie A tots guaranteed. Now, again, also with that content today is the new season, as I mentioned. And with the new season, um, it does always bring some interesting things, especially with this season ending. You know, if you want to do any last minute first goal cup games, um, you know, all of this stuff in here is going to be going away. We'll have new objectives, new, new season progress cards. So level 15 and level 30 players will be brand new um, and probably still irrelevant if I'm being completely honest. Um, but you know what? I have a little bit of a hope for today. And there's still one pack that was added to the code last week that we have not seen yet. And if you guys remember me mentioning it at all, it was a TOTS slash Team of the Week 83 plus pack. That would be a great pack to just put in here, EA Sports. They never change these. Mega pack, rare Electrum pack. Just do, it's the end of the year, right? Season seven. This is This season's probably going to take us until like the end of July, right? Just give us some cool packs in here, right? EA Sports, come on, give us give us a couple, maybe like an 88, like a, a TOTS guaranteed pack in here, like level 17 or 18. Uh, just give us a free TOTS player or something from any of the top five leagues. Like something like that, spice up these rewards a little bit. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and then alongside with the 15 and 30 level players, just give us some decent cards that we would that we haven't had any specials of during this year. Maybe for some secondary leagues or whatever, that would be cool. Hopefully they're juiced up in stats, but I really hope they just mix up the packs in here today. So all of this stuff is getting reset. Also with that today, if you guys do remember, Division Rivals Milestone Rewards are getting paid out, which I'm not getting any of because I barely played uh, Rivals. I'm going to be in Division 4 later today. It's going to be terrible. But if you're going to grind back to the Elite Division, there are going to be new rewards. As mentioned a couple of weeks ago, the Elite Division is now going to give out red picks with Team of the Week and team of the season players in them and i do believe there's a rating i think it's 83 actually you know what just kidding that 83 plus no that was a pack just kidding it's not um i'm pretty sure that 83 plus pack uh is somewhat regarding the rivals rewards as well but that'd be a player pick not a pack so i hope that 83 plus pack is still in the uh rewards for like the season but i think the player pick is also going to be 83 plus tots slash team of the week for these elite rewards we'll have to see what it looks like we'll be able to see the brand new rewards today um, a couple hours after this video goes live you can see the season resets in three hours and 35 minutes from when i'm recording this so probably in a couple hours depending on when you're watching this it'll be updated you can go in here and check it out and see exactly what they have but hopefully some nice stuff uh, from that today and is it going to make worth grinding to rivals elite division and getting your reward upgrade to get a nice player pick every week we'll have to see how the weight is after the first week and see what people get from them but in all likelihood it's probably not going to be that great uh of a grind if i'm being honest so and just taking a look at the market in general of course we talked about these fluctuations i still do think that, that there is going to be some dropping prices on this game at the moment as i take a look at a lot of these tots cards that are getting ultimate tots items um, or even some of them that are not getting ultimate tots items. I still think there's some movement ahead of us. You can see that the Cancelo has rebounded back a little bit. Uh, Cancelo was, he went from like 750 all the way down to like 690, went back up. I think this morning you'll see some more panic selling on these cards and some more undercutting just because people are going to see more and more of the leaks. They're going to say like, oh my goodness, this guy is in. I don't want to, I don't want to hold on to him because there's going to be a lot of supply this weekend, right? Ostman is a perfect example of that. He was 1.23, went down to 1.1, back up to 1.2 almost. Now he's back down to 1.08 again. So you're going to see more of that. And you're going to see opportunities to trade in those fluctuations if you time it correctly. Um, like I was mentioning yesterday, I bought a Paqueta at 1.27, sold it for 1.45. Uh, you're you're going to see more of that. I also, somebody mentioned in the stream yesterday that there was like the Jude Bellingham Future Stars card was even moving and, and getting panic sold because his tots card was going to be re-released in packs you know I, i'm not sitting here and telling you that a jude bellingham tots card is going to go from like 1.8 million coins and drop all the way down to like you know 900k which would then compete with this card on the market since it's so much closer in value but like take a look at this card man he was down at like 450 and now he's back at 510 so you know that sort of stuff if you see he's panic selling on out of pack specials that are not team of the seasons at all 
go ahead and, and trade with some of those fluctuations. But in reality, if you just want to wait uh, to buy some of these cards that are going to get in ultimate tots on the weekend, you can do that. Now, one thing I didn't mention before as well, but it's very, very, very good to know. And if you stuck around for the end of the video, you're going to catch this. And we'll talk about it a little bit more throughout the weekend. But all tots cards, since the rewards are the way that they are, you're going to have people packing tradable versions with rank four and above since they're 91 plus e-figs and for rank four it's e-figs plus mls you're going to be packing um even cards that are not in ultimate tots like we mentioned so let's give an example right hyunmin sun is not an ultimate team of the season but he technically will be packable tradable as a card in the 91 plus e-figs tots three players pack so guys like messi guys like neymar pedri militao sun you know, that did not get in money, that didn't get into team of the season. Of course, those are all pretty high tier players and their pack weight's not going to be very high, but technically they could be packed from this pack right here. And that goes for the entirety of all TOTS cards that are 91 plus from all of the top five leagues this weekend. You technically still could have some supply on the market for those cards as well. And if the content is good, it's going to be one interesting weekend on FIFA. It's going to impact the market a lot. It's going to be crazy to follow. Uh, we're going to be watching SBC fodder this weekend, especially starting tomorrow. We're going to be watching all these TOTS cards. It's going to be a banger weekend. I hope EA's content delivers as well, specifically on the SBC side of things. But it is nice to know the cards that are coming out in packs for Ultimate TOTS are a W. That's the biggest biggest thing uh that is a w i'm gonna start building player picks syria tots for me is basically done after i do the guaranteed and i'm literally gonna get rid of these two sbcs for my favorites and we're gonna start building the and i, I got rid of it on accident we're gonna start building 82 plus player picks because i am gonna try to stack up if possible as close to a hundred of these as i can get and i really gotta start to get going because it's gonna take me a while but i'm gonna try to get a hundred of these stacked up for tomorrow uh, because I'm going to go for it, right? It's ultimate tots. The best players are in packs. I want to give myself a shot at packing some of the big boy blues for our ultimate team this season. So if you're wanting to do any of that as well, start to get those coins spent, start to buy up those gold rares and non rares, and uh, it'll be a fun time to make some player picks and hopefully get something good. Again, let me know down in the comments what you think about ultimate team of the season, but that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully EA released a Serie A guarantee today. Let us have a little bit more fun before we go to Ultimate Tots tomorrow. If you enjoyed it, smash your thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.